That sense, Nora, that she went where, I suppose, politicians couldn't go in, in building bridges, as Mary McAleese talked about, on that key visit to Ireland in, in 2011. Do you think that was a real pivotal point for Anglo-Irish relations and what she did there and what, what, what happened during that time was really seismic? It's almost intangible. I, I left here at 17, so I spent more years of my life in Britain than I did here. And although I grew up in a family that was committed to the United Ireland, my grandfather fought in 1916, in, in Britain and in London, um, people always separate the Queen from the rest of the monarchy. Even people are sceptical. They understand that this is a woman, literally till almost she died, she worked for public service. She was stoic. She never complained. She did her duty. And that was very important to her. At 25, she became queen. My son is 23. And I can't imagine him even running a household, let alone the country. <laughs> so, but I do think, she, myself, I had a complicated relationship with the monarchy, I suppose, because of my upbringing. And I lived there for a very long time. My husband worked for the BBC. So he was always enveloped in the royal family. He covered Princess Diana's funeral. And suddenly, the British ambassador to Ireland asked me to be involved in her visit here. So, um, so I got very involved with Harry Crosby mm -hmm. in the convention centre. I ran all the fashion shows. He ran the Olivia O'Leary-hosted uh, show in the convention centre. And loved putting it on, but totally underestimated the impact it would have on me. I, I remember distinctly Rich's birthday was uh, May the 17th, and we were both watching the cameras when she got off the plane, and I was beyond emotional. Now, I lived in London for a long time. So it was extraordinary for me to feel that sense of symbolism that she was, you know, I remember going to the opening of the Garden of Remembrance in honour of my grandfather. And there mm. she was bowing and placing a wreath. So, so to me, and, and, you know, there was no end of ribbing mm -hmm. that my husband, who's British, was being introduced to the Queen by his Irish wife. Um, but it was, it was a really important, I think it was a really important visit.